<clears throat> world of YouTube out here and I'm going to bring you to a place the, that I seen the other day something very bizarre I looked up something the other day yesterday matter of fact due to the fact that me and my wife riding along here near on South Street near Cogshell Park and just beyond the entrance, I mean, you can't literally drive in it no more, but you can uh, park the walk through Cogshell Park. But, I'm, oh my, I'm still mystified and mesmerized about what I saw the other day. Just insanely enough. When I was driving the opposite direction, coming this way, mind you, further up the road there, and past this park, not this one, but this church parking lot right here, there was used to be a house that stood here, but uh, literally from this end of this guardrail up till this mound right here, right there. There was a animal that literally jetted across. And to me, I mentioned this in another video, it just happened like it disappeared inside the mountain. And my wife, of course, is not into nothing that I do with any type of, uh, you know, ghost hunting. I mean, she believes in ghosts in her own beliefs, in her own ways, but she will not hunt like me, nor. But I believe, honestly, I have encountered something that is even more freaking insane. And believe it or not, I don't care what anybody says, because now, like I say, my wife not being a believer like me, I think I've happened to stumble upon one of two things. The first thing is mentioned was a skinwalker, but the second thing is is not even, not even as, as well, how can I say this? Is it's almost as close, as close as a skinwalker you can get. Me due to me looking up what I found out about a koi wolf, which has I gotta pick up my kids while I'm waiting I'm doing this video but I just wanted to show that area and this koi wolf emerged from Canada Canada I believe as it says and made its way down here to North America and uh, it's not unknown for him to be here in this area in the, like the uh, New Hampshire or Massachusetts area, I believe they've made their way down here. And there's been a lot of coyote attacks. Maybe a few from the past last year or so, two years. But the way I saw that thing jet across the ro road, you know, my wife's seen it, like I said. And her not being a believer of things of me, like me. And also, if you think about it. And I've been saying it a lot to her lately is that the Native Americans used to use these animals as his hawks, ravens, crows, wolves, all throughout the supernatural powers that shamans and so forth use. And it is my belief that they made the skinwalker. As they say out in the Skinwalker Ranch out in the Utah area. I forgot where that was, but it's out there towards the west. But uh, Native Americans don't recommend you going out there. They won't let... I mean, they'll let you out there, but it's just kind of like enter at your own risk. And they won't mess around with it. But you know what? All in all, due to having my beliefs and my Native American and my blood... Which I could be either a Blackfoot Seox or even a uh, 
Mohawk from the New York tribes. And that's in more or less Sayox out there by Corning, New York. Because both my grandfather and my great-grandfather on my mother's side were full-time residents in the Corning, New York, where Painted Post is. And that's more out West Way, too. But just to think that I've been seeing these events with animal spirits, mind you. That's what I'm believing that was. I might, and my wife, three weeks ago, literally saw... And she claimed the devil, hairy, tall thing, standing and looking at her, mind you. And all standing crooked and backwards or whatever, that's a skinwalker. And I think I have encountered one, like I said in my other videos previous, over there near the Russell farm. And I'm just thinking, <laughs> seeing this thing take three to four leaps across the road there as you've seen South Street pretty wide road and then to dive into the side of the friggin rocks over there in my eyes I mean I mean whatever you know what I, maybe, maybe I'm going mental maybe I'm losing it but my wife saw it and she don't do the beliefs that I do she don't want nothing to do as I say with anything she gets very annoyed, aggravated lately. We've had, even had it out of me doing videos and type of stuff like this or other things. Or even missing children that I'm trying to help. Like my Taj and our bone story. I mean, they're, they're making well known that she's not into what I believe or what not. One day she literally got up and got out of the car and walked away. Not too far from a place where we were staying, mind you. If that makes any sense. Of where we stand. But for her to see this now. And due to my beliefs. That yeah it could be one a koi wolf. Which is a coyote and a wolf mix. And that thing she even said it. And I didn't tell her. But I said it in one of my videos. The last one I talked about it. it was about the size. Maybe a little bit bigger than a German shepherd. Muscular. Guess what. This article, and I took a screenshot of it, said that these koi wolves get as big as a deer. <laughs> now that being said, so I'm going to have to end it soon because my kids will be getting in in a minute. Could that be the skinwalker itself? Or, you know, <laughs> is there something really trying to come through? From the other side to me. Because I go to these places. And I find. And I've found. Literally. Indian dwellings that are not even marked. On the history books. Or even maps. Or even in stories. And for me to stumble upon this stuff. I think I'm getting closer on open. And then I have the raven. At my front door door, mind you. I think I'm stumbling upon Native Americans in my videos that I did recently at the old common cemetery, mind you. And the phone doing exactly what it did once before at a Native American site I stood my feet on. And messing up the audio. I don't know. Me? I know something is going down. But other than that, I just showed you that area where this thing and they run up that hill like it did, then I would have seen it, at least at the top or in the middle, because that was a steep hill. But when I passed by, it wasn't even there. So I leave it at that. Kids are getting in the car here now. Other than that, all I can say is world of YouTube. Be safe, take care, and always believe. Because I'll make you a believer. <laughs> That's right. Till next video. Peace out.